it's moving day to day. So this morning, I'm actually quite relaxed about it. We can't leave this site until 12 o'clock because we can't arrive at the next site, Thetford Forest, until one o'clock and they're only an hour apart. So I'm um, pretty relaxed about packing up this morning and just enjoying my cup of tea. My son's out playing. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, this is a pretty simple pack up. Do you mind? Because we're going from one site to another, I'm not gonna take the food out of the fridge and freezer. I should just leave it in there. Uh, clothes can stay where they are. And um, all I've got to do is uh, make sure everything's secured and bring the stuff from our storage tent, such as our outdoor seating inside the caravan and load that over the axles and then off we can trot. Oh, must, mustn't forget to um, empty the, the toilet as well. <laughs> our toilet cassette is so big that I haven't had to empty it yet. Uh, that has lasted the four or five days with, with no issues at all. So I really love having a rather large toilet cassette. I know I can see people walking past regularly with their, and others seem to have really tiny toilet cassettes. I think mine's twice as big as everybody else's. And I love that. I don't know why they've made them smaller all of a sudden. So the big ones are brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. We get no smells at all. Um, no, I'm lying. We did one day because my son emptied his load and didn't close the lid of the toilet and left the seat up. And I was sitting there thinking, oh my God, what is that smell? That was it. But close the lid, close the seal. It was all good after I'd opened the windows. <laughs> the smelliest thing is Perry and his cat in the tray. But yeah, lots of people seem to be leaving today. Little dudes, little friends, families leaving today. The people across the road are leaving today. They've been lovely. Everyone's been lovely. They always are on a campsite, aren't they? But the, the only problem I have is first thing in the morning when I'm fresh out of bed, bed hair sticking up everywhere, pyjamas on, crocs on my feet, my crocs are bright purple. And I have to go straight outside to let the dogs have a wee so that they don't get any accidents in the caravan because the chihuahuas struggle with waiting. They've got tiny bladders. I've stood out there, no glasses on, can't see for toffee. And everyone wants to chat. <laughs> People are at their most sociable first thing in the morning, and I'm not before I've had my cup of tea. Well, I want it so the dogs have a wee so I can go back indoors, have my cup of tea and get dressed and brush my hair. But, uh, yeah, I like it and I hate it in equal measure. <laughs> if I woke up looking immaculate, it'd be a different thing entirely. But I don't. Yeah. But yes, that's us today, leaving Sandringham and heading over towards Thetford Forest. second part of our two-part journey through Norfolk and have landed at Thetford Caravan and Motorhome Club site which looks absolutely beautiful right in the middle of Thetford Forest. We drove past the Desert Rats uh, War Memorial which is just down the road from here. You want to come up? Oh. It was only an hour's drive from Sandringham to here so a, a nice easy journey. And ever, when you, as ever when you get to, to a caravan and motorhome club site, choose your pitch. So we have chosen pitch 26, which is right near the uh, water fill up point and, and wastewater disposal point. And it all looks very pleasant. We're on a hard standing pitch, We've got an electric hookup and we're surrounded by trees. 
So we'll take a little walk around in a bit and I'll take you with me to show you the places. Chives. Oh, that'd be nice in a salad or pasta. Toothpaste, really. What, minty? types Not better. of plants, fungi and animals. That's yeah. nice isn't it? Oh there's lots of bats here. Common dormouse, hedgehogs, you have to look for those. Woodland ah. isn't there here. The common frog, common toad, great crested newts, I love those. Slow worms, oh if we get to find a slow worm I'll be well happy. Mm. Granddad will be very... slow worm? A there. slow worm. And, uh, I get the extra slow. No darling. All those different birds, all the insects, how beautiful is that? That's nice to, to take note of, isn't it? Mm -hmm. right. Let's keep going. Fly. We haven't been here before, so. It's in the middle of a forest again. Yes. 
There's lots of water points and chemical waste points, aren't there? So there's a motorhome service point there. Here we've got our bins, drinking water, our wastewater disposal, and just over there in his own little shed is the chemical toilet disposal. Let's have a little look at that. Of wildlife in there, beautiful. So now we're here. This does look like an absolutely beautiful campsite. Um, I do think any campsite within a forested area is just going to be beautiful, really. It's very, very quiet, very peaceful. And the neighbours all seem to be lovely, which is great. Everyone has said hello. <laughs> and uh, now that we've had a little wander around the park and investigate, I've had a little sit down. I'm gonna to set to uh, making dinner. And tonight, I'm going to make a chicken satay. Again, my version of a chicken satay with vegan chicken um, but my own satay sauce which I'm making from scratch uh, never comes out the same twice because I only very loosely follow the recipe <laughs> as ever so right now I'm chopping the garlic and then I shall very thinly chop up onions to start off the base of the sauce and then of course with peanut butter, um, soy sauce, what else, uh, sweet chilli sauce ah. and then chicken and some peppers. I think I've got some rice. Trying to decide between egg fried rice, which is just a packet one, or whole grain rice again, just a packet one. This makes life a bit easier because they're so quick.
I do love this concept of having your same comfortable second home with all of your comfortable belongings and everything where you want it. But a different view whenever you want it. It's cracking that, isn't it? So uh, departure from Sandringham was really smooth and easy. Uh, in fact, I was rated 10 out of 10 <laughs> by some people who were watching, which I found a little bit embarrassing. Um, and yeah, arrival on site was, was, was simple enough. Pitched up, set up within 40 minutes. I was sat here having a cup of tea, making our lunch and just chilled out for the day. So, so really, really simple. Um, I don't know if I told you before that uh, at Sandringham there's free club Wi-Fi and that worked very well actually. Uh, quite impressed. Again, a bit hit and miss with FaceTime calls, but for everything else, functioned very well. There's no free Wi-Fi here. This Wi-Fi, um, I'm beginning to realise this is a caravan and motorhoming thing standard. It's not free. You pay for it. I have paid for it this week. It was £11 for a week. And as we're here for five nights, I've just paid for the week rather than £3.50 per day, as we're very close to the Wi-Fi mast. So I figure I might get a, a, a decent enough reception this time to, to make it worthwhile. Um, there are no toilet facilities here at Thetford at any time. Um, so this will be another five days of, of no toilet facilities. But again, we just, we just use our own facilities on board our caravan. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, but the site looks absolutely beautiful. Again, forests just just lovely. My son's made a friend already, so he was very happy to ride off into the sunset on his scooter. And uh, yeah, here we are. So, home from home <laughs> again. <laughs> it all feels just the same, just a different view when I look out of the window. It's a beautiful view. And the wind has died down. It was beautifully sunny when we arrived, absolutely gorgeous. And uh, a bit of a chill in the air this evening, but no wind, so that's that's a relief. Hopefully we'll get some decent weather this week. The forecast looks a bit dodgy, so we shall see. But I want to do lots of forest walks and see what the surrounding area has to bring. Anyway, I shall retire for the evening as ever with my much deserved G&T, my iPad, the dogs, the cat, and my lovely view. Good night, love you lots.